Hey friends, this is Pastor Clayton, and I'm so excited that today we get to read God's Word together. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and find your Bible and grab your journal and a pen. You're going to need that as we read along today. We are going to be in Mark chapter 4. So if you haven't uh, found it yet, you can pause the video. You can find Mark chapter 4 uh, and then start playing when you found it. But we're going to be reading a story about Jesus. And what's interesting is this is a story about Jesus telling a story. Uh, the story that he tells is what we call a parable. That's kind of a story with a meaning behind it. And you're, it's going to be interesting because Jesus is first going to tell the story, and then he's going to explain what the story means. So you're going to want to listen to both of those parts. What's the story he tol told, and what does he say that it means? All right, let's start reading in Mark chapter 4, verse 1, going through verse 20. Again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat out on the lake, while the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables, and in his teaching he said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed, and as he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it didn't have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow, but when the sun came out, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked the plants so that they didn't bear grain. Still, other seed fell on good soil. It came up, grew, and produced a crop, some multiplying 30, some 60, some 100 times. Then Jesus said, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. When he was alone, the twelve and the others around him asked him about the parables. He told them, The secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to those on the outside, everything is said in parables, so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving, ever hearing but never understanding, otherwise they might turn and be forgiven. Then Jesus said to them, Don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any parable? The farmer sows the word. Some people are like seed along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes the word that was sown in them. Others, like seeds sown on the rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy, but since they have no root, they only last a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Still others, like seeds sown among thorns, they hear the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things, they come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like the seed sown on good soil, they hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop some 30, some 60, some 100 times what was sown. All right, go ahead and take a moment and jot down some thoughts. So I'm going to open up my own journal and I'm going to write some things here that I thought of, some questions, some thoughts that I have from this passage. Well, you may need a little bit more time than that. You may have some more thoughts, some more questions, some things that you want to think about or pray about. Uh, that's totally okay. You can take as much time as you need. But when you're done, you can check off in the Bible reading plan that you did today's reading uh, and then come back tomorrow because we're going to be hearing more uh, from the Gospel of Mark and from the Epic Reading Plan.